Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today is Sunday morning about 8, 8.30. I can never sleep late on the weekends, so we're going to get out here and get our video today started early. We're going to be doing a beef tri-tip today out on the uh, pit barrel cooker. So, hey, hang around. Watch us do the short prep work, and we'll see how this bad boy turns out. He's a bad beast on that barbecue On the grill of the smoker He knows just what to do He's a bad beast on that barbecue Alright guys, so what we have here is we have a two, a little more than a two and a half pound of Angus beef tri-tip here, okay? As you guys know, tri-tip is pretty lean, so you got to be careful with it. We're going to treat this one just as if we would a steak, okay? So it's, it's, this one's pretty clean. We just got a couple of areas we need to clean up here. We want to get rid of any silver skin if you can because you're just going to be chewing on that if you don't get rid of it before you cook it, okay? So let's see if we can get rid of some of the silver skin that we have here. All right. I'm not the best butcher in the world. I can only do what I do. This is one of these knives from the set I bought from from Cutco. It's supposed to be some top-notch knives. They've been doing pretty good. I just use them so much that I have to get them sharpened all the time. Alright, so this is a pretty big piece of fat right here on the meat side got a lot on it so let me go ahead and trim this up right quick and then we'll come right back all right guys so we got our uh, tri-tip trimmed up as much as I could without gouging out too much of the meat I bought this one from Sam's and um, while Sam's have some pretty good meat it's pretty on this side but the other side had a lot of fat on it so we had to cut it pretty liberally so but you still should make some great tri-tip, okay? So let's go ahead and get it seasoned up, okay? So we got our olive oil here. We're going to lightly coat both sides. All right. And the rub we're going to be using is Plowboy's Bovine Bold, okay? It's supposed to be good for chicken, steaks, pork, and brisket, okay? So somebody suggested that I try some Plow Boys, so that's what I'm getting ready to do. It's got a great bowl flavor. It smells great, wow. This should be good on this. Uh, it smells like a, uh, a rub that'll go great on some steak or some brisket. So, so we're gonna liberally coat this. Uh, get the side. All right, there we go. Now we're going to let this hang out here for a few minutes while we go set up the uh, PVC. I already got the charcoal in there. I just got to go ahead and light it up and get it up to temp. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to locate my uh, Smokey Joe it's somewhere in the garage or somewhere in the house. I have to look for it. So we're going to use the uh, Badass American Grill that I bought uh, last year uh, to sear this off at the end. Okay, so hey, don't go nowhere. Well, we're going to go ahead out here on the patio and get this bad boy squared away, so hang out. Oh, by the way, we're going to be using cherry wood chunks today. So uh, I know this is only going to be on for about um, 35 to 45 minutes because we just want to get up to a temperature between 110 and 115 before we take it off and then sear it so that when we sear it, it'll get up to about between 125 and 130 okay as far as internal temp but we're going to be using cherry today to see if we can get a little bit of red color on our tricep so hey let's go on out to the deck not the deck the patio <laughs>
Okay, guys. So we've uh, finished with our cook. We let our tri-tip rest for about 10 minutes. It smells fantastic. Uh, I can smell the smokiness of the cherry wood chunks that we uh, put into the PBC. And that's the reason I put the wood chunks so close to the initial fire because I knew that this would take no more than about 30 minutes to come up to temperature uh, in the PBC. So I wanted to make sure it got a lot of smoke flavor and it definitely did. I can smell it. Okay. It's been resting. Uh, let me give you a close up look at this. As you can see, you can see the the way that the grains are running, it smells fantastic. Got a nice char from where we put it over the coals on the badass American grill. And so now I guess it's just time to go ahead and cut into it and see how well we did. So, all right, guys. So make sure I cut this against the grain. Okay. So let me turn this like so. The grain is running like this. Okay. So I'm going to cut it. like so right here all right now i was kind of worried because the pbc does cook pretty hot and fast so i had to really monitor it but it looks like it came out medium rare just like i like it so yep look at that Got nice pink center, nice and juicy, medium rare. So, and we pulled it at 127 degrees with a little carryover. So, I guess all the time to do now is take a taste test. So, take a small piece of this. All right. Uh, smells fantastic, juicy. Man, that is good. That bovine. Rub from Plow Boys is peppery. It's uh, it comes at you. It's not hot, but it's got a lot, a lot of deep flavor, and definitely can take taste the pepper uh, in that rub. Can taste the smoke, and uh, that cherry wood gave it a nice little reddish color. Mm. Oh yeah, this looks good. And it's still early in the morning, so I got enough time for me to have a little tri tip and eggs for breakfast. So. Cut off a little bit more of this and get to the inside. Yep, she looks real good. Well, that's about it. Um, this came out very, very good. Uh, I cooked this on the PBC. This was the first time I cooked tri-tip. Uh, the only tough thing about uh, cooking on the PBC is that the PBC cooks like 275, so it cooks almost hot and fast by itself, so almost eliminating the need to do the sear. So I had to really, really monitor the temperature and let it get up to an internal temperature of 115 degrees before we could throw it on another grill to sear it to 127 to 129 degrees. But it came out fantastic. It's moist, it's juicy. This Plowboy's uh, bovine uh, bold seasoning that I bought from the St. Louis barbecue store is fantastic. I like this. I can't wait to try this on some ribs, okay? So well, that's all we have time for today. If you guys are interested in the PBCA, contact the uh, guys at Pit Barrel Cooker. I'll put the contact information here at the bottom of the screen and in the description block of the video. Also, the Thermal Pro worked uh, excellent as usual. If you guys are interested in any, any of the uh, thermometers from Thermal Pro, yeah, I'll put the contact information in the description block. Um, and um, that's about it. It was a little too early in the morning to have a drink, but hey, you know, it's getting closer to uh, 11 o'clock now. So, but again, again, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. So, hey, maybe I'll take an early morning nip. Maybe a Crown Royal Mimosa, huh? Hmm, that sounds interesting. Hey, guys, well, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys around the smoker.